welcome back to my channel and today I have another fall DIY for you. Um, this is coming partly from Dollar Tree and then partly from Walmart. So let me show you what you'll need to make the project. I'm going to make a pumpkin topiary and I've been wanting to do this for a while. I saw one at Cracker Barrel and it was $79.99 and I told my husband I can make one just as pretty and get it a lot cheaper. So let me show you what you'll need to make the project. You're going to need one of these little um, containers that you can put plants in from the Dollar Tree. It was originally this color and I painted it with some spray paint and then dry brushed it with some gold so that it would look a lot warmer and older. Okay. And then you need one of these rings, styrofoam rings, um, from the Dollar Tree. I don't really think it's styrofoam, it's just floral foam. And then you're going to need some leaves, different colored leaves, and some Excelsior from the Dollar Tree. Those two things. Now I spray painted the bucket with the Rust-Oleum Satin Ivory Silk. I've used that many, many times. And then I dry brushed it with the Folk Art Royal Gold Metallic. And I've used that many times as well. You're going to need a glue gun and then you're going to need your pumpkins. Now I couldn't find any big ones naturally at Dollar Tree so I bought this. I think it's really cute and it didn't have a stem in it which was fine with me because this one's going to be on the bottom. Um, and I got this at Old Time Pottery for 25% off since it didn't have a stem. So that was really good. And it wasn't very expensive anyway. And then these other two I got at Walmart. Okay, so you're going to need three pumpkins. So let's start creating this. I'm so excited. Let me put this down so you can see. I'm so, so excited. Okay, let me see which way I want my little bucket to look. Because I want it to look the oldest towards the front. Now you could take this off. And maybe when I put the hot glue, I may wish that I had. But this kind of breaks off and gets kind of nasty. And I really don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm just going to try to glue this right in here on the inside of the bucket. Let's see where that's going to come. But I think this is going to give us a really cute look. Hopefully I can get it on there before that glues. sure it's relatively even because if it isn't your pumpkins will be a little askew. Okay then all we're going to do is just glue this pumpkin to this. Well first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Excelsior on here. This stuff gets everywhere but it's beautiful. And I only need to put this where I'm actually going, where you're going to see it hanging over the edge. Because I'm trying, I wanted a different kind of container, but I couldn't find one. I don't know what's up with my glue gun. Just want to hide that that green. As much as possible. So what I'll do, so you don't have to watch me do all this, I just wanted you to kind of get 
a feel for what I'm doing, but I think you can tell. I'm just going to cover all this with the Excelsior, and I'll be right back when I'm finished. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is what we have so far, and I think it's turned out really adorable. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to look for that best side that I think looks the darkest, and now I'm just going to glue my pumpkin on here. It is going to be beyond super cute. I'm really excited. Okay, so let me just put some glue on the bottom of my pumpkin. And if you wanted to have something more permanent, definitely use you some fix-all adhesive from the Dollar Tree or E6000. I just never really use the E6000. But um, the fix-all adhesive is really good from the Dollar Tree. I don't know what's up with this glue gun. It's just... I don't know. Okay. And just press that down. That is adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm loving it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is... <clears throat> Just, excuse me, pull this lid, this little stem off of the middle size one and figure out exactly how, and that's, that's it here, okay, then figure out how I want to put, I think I want this one like this. And hopefully my glue gun will straighten up. I think it's breaking, guys. Maybe not. There's something up with it. Okay. And then I'm just going to stick it on top of this one. I love it. It is looking so adorable. Oh my gosh. I've wanted one of these for such a long time. I get so excited. <laughs> I think you're a little cricket. Okay. And we're going to leave the stem in this one. And let's see how we want to put this one. I think we'll just do it like that. Okay. Come on, glue gun. Hold it. How will that? Okay. Now all I'm going to do is just put this on the bottom of this pumpkin. This is so simple, but it gives such an expensive look. But I think my glue gun is dying. Okay, there that is. Now you could stop at that point, and I think it would be really, really cute, but I'm not going to. Okay, so what I want to do is take some leaves. And just have them sticking. I don't want a lot, just every so often just have a few little leaves coming out. And put them right where I want them. And then throw a little bit of that um, Excelsior in there, too. I think that's going to be really cute. Okay. All right. So, here we go. Stick that one in there. And I'll get my little spatula that I always use to kind of... Try to tuck it in there. I just love to make things. I really do. I have so much fun. And I love to have something that I didn't have before and know that I did it. It's just, 
I don't know. It's really fun. Plus, I love to save money. <laughs> And where this glue gun wasn't really good with that bigger pumpkin, I may put a little bit. It's it's on there though. It's well attached. You can't pull it off, so that's good. But if you would go in Hobby Lobby, oh my gosh, I hate to see how much you pay for one of these. Because, like I said, at Cracker Barrel, it was $79. So, it gets to be quite expensive. Okay, I'm going to put some of that sizal, I mean, uh, a Celsius in there. It is a messy project, though. Okay, guys, I don't know how much I actually filmed because while I was filming, I looked up and the camera had, my phone had shut off. Um, it's so frustrating, but um, hopefully you got to see a lot. What I ended up doing is just alternating leaves here at the bottom. Uh, I'll bring it up here closer so you can see, just in different ways, just so that it would look like it was really just setting in just a pile of leaves and then um, I just kept putting two leaves together everywhere else so it wouldn't look so flat it would have more dimension but I really do love how it turned out I'm really proud of it so um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel until next time bye guys okay guys I thought I'd hop on real quick and show you where I'm going to put it in my living room I absolutely love it. If you would go to Michael's, Hobby Lobby, anywhere like that, you would pay a lot more than what I have in this. So, like I always say, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.